to the right side. Yep. Here we go. Hey, welcome to the Las Vegas Youth Bowler Store at the Santa Fe Hotel and Casino. Today is, I don't even know what the day is. Today is Saturday the 5th. We are, today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be running the semifinals <coughs> and the finals together. Mr. Huffman is going to try to make this work. Next to me is my co-host, Mr. Kevin. Kevin, say your last name. Uh, McHugh. McHugh. And everybody knows Zeke. Zeke is Kevin's dad. Awesome. And it, yeah. Zeke is our 10-year-old little super stud two-hander. So thanks for sitting in with us, Kevin. Yeah, not a problem. Appreciate it. So we're going to go over some things. Uh, again, we're doing something a little different today. We're going to try to run the semifinals and the finals together. So we actually can talk, thanks to Ben's wife, uh, texting us at the last show saying, Phil, you guys are talking too much about everything but bowling. So Ben, ben has tried to put this together to where we can run it all together. So here we go. I'm going to talk something. And in the meantime, I'm trying to run some things on social media. <laughs> yeah, trying to multitask, pretty difficult. But uh, so, Kevin, do me a favor. What's do that? some talking. Okay, here we go. You know how semifinals are getting ready to take off. We got some familiar faces out there. Tyler Castronova, local varsity player. Yeah. Uh, good kid to watch. Zeke looks up to him. He's my ten-year-old son, and he's a two-hander as well. Daniel Hong, Stephanie Hong, coming out here from California. Can't tell you how much we appreciate that. We'd love to see more kids from California coming out here. These kids are uh, competitive. They come out here and they, uh, they always make the bracket. So it's, it's good competition and we, we like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it is. Uh, Daniel obviously is in the varsity. Stephanie is in the JV section. So uh, it's going to be interesting uh, what goes on here. So uh, Stephanie Bowen, uh, her little buddy Gavin, she was, <laughs> she was rooting for him earlier. Now she has to bowl against him. So we'll see how this goes. Which might come back to bite her because uh, <laughs> Gavin is on fire. Yeah, he just came off the 226 beating uh, one of our new kids. Uh, his name is Hayden King from ben Clark High School. Uh, young man bowled really well, two-hander, threw it really good today. So we're bowling on 50-foot junior gold. Uh, gutters in play. A little different what we, uh, what we did today, and we, we've done this before because of the situation that we're in on, on Saturday mornings. We have our junior gold league, and our junior, uh, we have a handicapped singles league. We had to run the 50-foot pattern on, there you go. on both pairs, or the, on the whole house today. But we then ran a, we ran our tournament five game qualifier on on the burn, but on fifty foot, really not burning, is it? Not with all the urethane these kids out there are throwing, <laughs> <laughs> with five hundred and three sixty on it. So, so yeah, let uh, let's talk a little bit about. Uh, I didn't actually mark that down. So, uh, Gavin Gavin beat Hayden. Nope. Yep, and Hayden had a great game. Hayden was a competitor. He bowled on my son's pair earlier today, and he was uh, consistent, to say the least. Really, really glad to see him out here bowling with all the kids. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really good. They're uh, making an announcement here at Santa Fe, so we're, we don't know what you guys can hear over there, so we're trying to be a little quiet. So Daniel, uh, that was a big shot in the 10th frame that he beat Jordan Gill. Jordan throwing the ball real good, another two-hander out of Vegas. Um, they, uh, it was a 201-181. to 181. Daniel actually struck out in the 10th, but he threw that Brooklyn the second ball in the 10th. So uh, on this 50-foot pattern. Again, a little bit of a burn. Daniel's in playing a little fallback shot with 500 on, his, 500 on the ball. So we'll see what goes on there and as we go on. So, so we've got Tyler bowling Daniel. Tyler is on fire, on fire. Last week in San Diego, Tyler was on our team of the uh, U15 and under, uh, the remix team. Oh. Oh, okay. If he's clean, that's good. Yeah. So uh, last week, uh, Tyler was on our team with Sebastian and... and um, Sorry. Squirrel. Uh, 
but we got in the finals with uh, with our strong team, and Tyler was just striking all day long. So, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, so Stephanie Bowen Gavin, uh, we've got uh, Gavin Bowling in the third frame right now on a spare strike. Stephanie just finished her third frame strike spare strike. So, on a 50 foot pattern, these guys, these our JV section, making it look like a house shot. Yes, they are. Gavin like it and out there on the left hand side up by himself. Yeah, the only uh, he'll be uh, in the finals uh, squad leader in the varsity section. We have uh, Jason Bardo on the left side. It's been kid's been working on his game so hard, uh, and finally got to him. He was the only one that was plus seventy one today as a squad leader. Tyler did finish at a thousand even, so he was even for the day, but. Uh, Jason just crushed him, throwing urethane. I, I don't know exactly what he, I know he started off with urethane today. Uh, I don't know what he finished with, I'll find out. Okay, Gavin leaving an open there. Very rare for him today. Yeah, he's been picking up a lot of spares. So uh, in the finals in the JV section, so the winner of between Stephanie and Gavin will be bowling the leader, uh, our, little, uh, our little 12 year old, thank you, JT Verdi, 12 years old. You're 11? Yep. Yeah. 11 JT years. Verde, 11 years old. He's got a mustache already. <laughs> JT, come here. Stand between us. Pull down your mask, JT. Pull it down. Look at this mustache. 11 years old, got a mustache. We've got a stud here, folks. This kid, uh, yep. you'd never know he's 11. <laughs> you could put him up against a 20-year-old and... JT would expect to beat him. Over five games today, again, Dad's been talking to me about this a lot, and we've been beating him up over the last few months. He's been really working hard on spares. He missed three spares in five games. That's huge. Three huge. spares. On this pattern, it's everything. And he was a squad leader at 988 minus 12. So very impressive for JT. Super proud of this kid. He, you're right. He is he, at 11 years old, he's going to be crushing 20-year-olds. So super, super happy about this. Yeah, the confidence in, in all these kids. You know, these kids that are making the brackets and, nice and winning, they, uh, they walk and they know, they know they're well. Yeah, yeah, good call there. Kevin, thanks for sitting in with me, man. I yeah, love not it. a problem. That's awesome. It was Ben's idea. He's like, hey, you know what? Let's, uh, let's grab a parent. Let's grab a dad. And he's like, Ask Kevin. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, again, you guys have gone through a lot. Not gone through a lot. I mean, Zeke was a one-hander, what, three months ago? Uh, about three months ago, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He had always wanted to go two-handed, but he started one-handed and got off to a good start, so we stuck with that, and then uh, it just, he, he had, he, we knew he was going to go two-handed, so he made the switch, and uh, we're glad he did. He's really enjoying it. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, it, when you guys get to meet this little dude, it's, I love him, man. He is, he is an eye-opening, just a great experience to, to be around. All the older kids are around him, and they, at a, 10 years old, they treat him like he's their age. <laughs> and they well, have just you. mad respect for him, they love him. It's, it's no different than when I was, when Gavin, uh, Gavin was his age. Gavin was always one of those kids like Zeke that would always want to hang around 13, 14, 15, 18 year olds, right? And yep. they just mature because of this. And this is, and you guys will see me on social media, Facebook all the time, man. This is why I do what I do. It's because of these kids and, and watching, watching them make lifetime friends. And it's no different than the friends that you guys have made Oh, Stephanie, no different than the friends that you guys have made with the moms and dads of these other kids. So, Absolutely, Phil. That's a good point to bring up. I mean, I've been lucky enough that Zeke's actually bowled with JT and Gavin since Zeke was uh, eight and a half, nine years old. And uh, to see these kids grow, it's a blast. They, yeah. uh, they really enjoy each other's company, and they, uh, they've gotten better by bowling with each other. Yeah, they really have. And this is going to be their life. So we've got Tyler, who is, believe it or not, 14. <laughs> Six foot five. 
and counting. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I was teasing him this morning and his, and his mom, uh, Monica, uh, speed racer, uh, slash hashtag speed racer. I'm like, Monica, what shirt is you wearing? It looks like it's, he's like, yeah, he's a medium now. This is a small shirt. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, all, all these kids, they, uh, they, grow, they grow like a weed. Look at Tyler. Good, good pickup on that seven. The kid is just on fire. The kid is. Oh, I got to get rid of this gum. Sorry, I'm on camera chewing with my mouth open. Let's take a look at what Daniel's got going on here. Go ahead. Let's see. Working off a double. Oh, we got that a little right. So uh, uh, okay. he said that he put 500 on this ball, and the problem is he can't go away from the pocket too much on a 50-foot pattern. So that shot he went away from. Uh, the last couple shots he got in, so he's, he's he won that last game and it gave him a really kind of a misread, even though he shot 200, 201, but it gave him a misread. He still, his feet might be a little bit too far left. And he can't get this ball, asymmetrical ball, throwing it left to right. It's just not going to come back. And this ball is just rolling out. Yeah, getting those two-handers, the right-handed side, getting their feet to the right, it's, uh, it's a battle. It, it is a battle, yeah. So here's a sister bowling in a JV section. She just missed a three pin. Stephanie, I think Stephanie, I've worked with her a little bit. I know that uh, in California, she'll work with uh, Mark Baker, uh, obviously one of the best coaches in the world. So, uh, but she's got a little bit of physical work to do. She still wants to turn the ball with their shoulders, but uh, she is definitely getting stronger as a young individual. I love it. I don't know what she wants to do for college. I know Daniel's one of those uh, top 10 percenters as far as smart educational kids that can get in the uh, top echelon schools for what he wants to do when he grows up. So, oh, kick I'm it. sure he's going to have a lot of smart funds money available for college too with yeah. the way he bowls. <laughs> yeah, speaking of smart fund money, uh, Tyler missed that a little bit. Uh, Mr. Mike Ruiz gave me the payout. So we're getting, we're guaranteeing money for all of our tournaments, thanks to Santa Fe Lanes, Kathy McCluskey, and what she's doing with our kids. So we're guaranteeing first place, three hundred dollars. Second place, two hundred. Third place, one hundred. We're putting money, obviously, into it. We're a nonprofit business, so Ben, Mike, and myself put all uh, all the money goes back into the kids. So. We're paying out uh, seven space, seven spots, 80, 60, 50, and 50. Our top girl in the JV division, non-casher, got $50. And in the JV section, I think that was Sarah Merrick won $50 there. So actually she was 10 pins out of cashing. Zeke finished, he was a low casher in six spot. And Sarah was just under him by 10 pins, so Sarah gets the $50 that's donated. In the varsity section, we had Marissa Reese. She didn't bowl too well today, but guess what? She gets $50 to do her smart money as the high girl non-casher. And that money adds up, too. The more tournaments you're getting into, the better you're bowling, the more times you're cashing, you'll be surprised. Get to the end of the year, look at that thing, see so you have an extra four or five grand in there, and uh it adds up, especially when you start young. So keep that in mind, <laughs> folks. It, yeah, it really does. So, but uh, so go ahead and update us on the score for the uh, JV section. All right, right now we got Gavin. He's coming off of uh, two spares, working on an 85. I have a feeling he's going to pick this up. Let's see what he's got. Let's go, Gavin. Oh. There oh, we nice. go. I could just tell. I could see it. <laughs> Kid's got. Ice in his veins right there. Yeah, he really does. Uh, I'm going to say this out loud. Come here, dude. Stand, be stand between us. Wave hi, Gavin. Take your mask down. Wave. Hello. Hello. Hey, dude, how old are you? 11. 11? Yeah. What ball, what ball are you throwing with what surface are you throwing? I'm throwing a hero. Hero? What hero. surface you have on it? Thousand. Thousand. All right. Good job, dude. Keep it up. Good job. That's a Brunswick hero of all I've always heard a lot of good things about. Yeah. Well, yeah. there's a lot of good bowling balls out there, but what it comes down to is you you heard the key word right there. 1,000. 
surface, folks. <laughs> Come on down and get a free lesson. <laughs> <laughs> well, in all, in all fairness... Okay, Zeke's, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase Zeke's that. Zeke's lessons aren't free. <laughs> <laughs> no, folks, not at all. Just come talk to one of the other kids. Uh, Thanks, Kathy they, McCluskey. They, they know it. Thanks, Chuck. Kathy just dropped off some paperwork for me for our junior gold league. So, oh, awesome! Wow. Okay. Cool. More paperwork. Thank God I've got Mike Ruiz around and Ben Huffman. There are, ooh, hit oh, hit it, hit it. It's rocking, folks. <laughs> it's, it's rocking. Stephanie was working on a double right there, picked up the nine. Let's see if she can spare out with the seven pin. Come on, Steph. Bowling over on 59 and 60. We've got JT getting ready, warming up in the, uh, in the JV section. Stephanie is really throwing them, thrusting it with their shoulders, isn't she? Yes, she is. She did pick it up, but I, you can see that shoulder moving. Yeah, you can see it. So uh, so over there practicing is JT with uh, Jason Bardo. JT will be bowling in the JV section. Jason Bardo will be bowling in the varsity. All right, we're back on Gavin. Let's see if he can double up. Come on, kiddo. Nice. Oh. He's throwing it good. Been working with Gavin, uh, mom and dad of... Uh, uh, again, just like you, just like you guys, super supportive of of your kids. I've uh, been really working with Gavin and his brother Hayden Fernandez. These kids have done just, they're growing. Hayden's going through a little bit of a funk right now. He's going through that, there we go. that nice teenage clean. stuff. So he's, uh, it's been difficult. It's been difficult, but Hayden's throwing the ball well. Gavin's throwing the ball great. But the, Hayden has to compete against the top varsity players where Gavin is at 11 years old uh, his physical game is at a varsity level but he's still only 11 so he gets to compete a little bit all right Daniel Hong. oh here we go Kevin it's all you now Oop, it's switched over there you go hey folks let's take a shout out and take a look at our sponsors cool wick go to coolwick.com for all your uh, bowling jersey needs they're a great company. They do a lot for youth bowling here with Las Vegas Youth Bowlers Tour. So uh, check them out. Don't forget to check out our promo code LVYBT10. Awesome. And Storm Bowling. Let me talk about it. These guys make <laughs> Christmas shopping easy for me. They're the one-stop shop for all your bowling needs. Oh, Ben, this was a good idea having Kevin sit. <laughs> no, Storm Bowling is great, man. All the balls these guys donate, bowling balls they donate, is fantastic. I mean, they're... Their core values and helping the youth bowling oh. community is great. Yeah, and again, Storm does a great job with us, but they do a great job with SYC's coming up. They do a, man, a shout out to, to Bill Chrisman and his wife. It's absolutely amazing what Barbara and Bill do for our kids. Gary Holsenberg, Leanne Holsenberg. Also, yeah, also shout out to, and we're going this direction here shortly, uh, to be reaching out to uh, our boy, my boy Jim over at Coolwick. We're going with the banners, so I'll be reaching out to him starting Monday. We got some banners going across the uh, the. Uh, yeah, me and Mike hung them up this morning. <laughs> yeah, flag banners for all of our winners, LVYBT winners. Yeah, these kids love those. Yeah, representing their family, representing youth bowling, representing LVYBT in Southern Nevada, Las Vegas. Gotta love it. Phil Placco coaching. <laughs> Keep an eye on it, folks. It's, gro <laughs> it's growing and only getting bigger. Yeah, I just wish I had the time to do more coaching because there's nothing more that I would like to do, be able to do every day than my passion, and that's being able to help our kids and teach our parents, right? Yeah, and that's a, that's a good point, Phil, teaching the parents. That's kind of <laughs> – I won't tell you why we started this, but one of the reasons, the core reason why we started this is for Ben Mike – and ourselves, our thought process was about being able to teach the parents how tournaments work, right? So we're getting new people in every month for our tournaments. We run a tournament once a month. Oh, nice shot. CS go at the three pin. 
angle wise down lane. So it's kind of like a be able to fall back shot. So, but he's doing he's uh, Daniel's doing really good. But yeah, our whole num our whole focus was to be able to to grow youth bowling in Las Vegas and the West Coast, but also be able to teach our kids and our parents what tournament action is like. And let me talk about that a little bit, folks. Uh, being new to bowling, relatively new coming in, we've, we've been bowling around it for the last three years pretty consecutively, and getting the experience of these tournaments, these LVYBT tournaments, has really helped us. So when we have traveled out of town, hey. it's prepared us. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it's just the beginning, and we're going to talk about that in between this match. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, what we did last week in San Diego with uh, the 12 and under kids from Vegas and, uh, and the 15 and under. All right, Stephanie finishing up with the 184. Let's see where Gavin. Gavin's working Gavin, on a strike. Let's Gavin see. can only shoot 183, so Stephanie yeah, snapped Stephanie. him. One stick, folks. One stick. Did Gavin miss any spares? One. He had an open in the third. Yeah. Oh, that was a split. That was the baby split. Yep. yep. And then he did he did miss one spare in the fourth. Yep. Yep. So. So Stephanie Hong from California is going to be moving on, bowling another two-hander, another 11-year-old. You know, Stephanie's a teenager. She's beating up on these preteens. Yeah, no, no, she is. <laughs> but she deserves it. She's, she's done well. I've seen her up here twice. She's maybe been up here a few more times, but um, both times she's, she's done a great job. So good job, Stephanie. Yeah, good job. Shout out to her. So what's going on in the 10th frame? So Daniel's... Daniel's got, uh, he's got this match locked up. Daniel, finishing strong. Yep, so it's going to be Daniel bowling Jason Bartle, and Sissy, sister Stephanie Hong, is going to be bowling JT. So California is jumping into Vegas, beating up on all of our kids. Yeah. Is Daniel making a little ball change, testing something out right here? That's what it looks like, folks. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. That's and that's a smart move. Wow, look at you, Kevin. You've come a <laughs> long way, my friend. <laughs> well, thanks to you, Phil. Uh, and look, at this kid can strike with anything. Give him a plastic spare ball. Let's go. Technically right there, I would like to see him have two shots in the 10th frame. So I'd like to see him create an angle that he wasn't used to, meaning stand right there, throw it at the 10 pin just to not strike so he would have, have another shot. Yeah, because, yeah. I get Because they're not going to get a shot. They're not going to get a shot in between, in between sets. Okay. So... Got the microphone going on behind us at the Santa Fe. They like talk. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Looking good. Congratulations, good. Daniel. Moving on to the championship. All right. So the championship match, Daniel. Oh, we're going to take a little break, Ben. No, nope, we're going to keep moving on. Oh, that's right. Now we're going from the semifinals to the finals. I'll get a little dancing in here. Perfect. So in the finals. Oh, there you go. Hey, back to Coolwick, folks. Check them <laughs> out. Make sure you're getting online and going to coolwick.com. Don't forget to enter your promo code LVYBT10. Storm Bowling, like I said, top notch bowling company. We appreciate everything they do. Lots of donations. Great company, man. Putting together uh, lots man. of good bowling balls and good equipment. Yeah, we're going to be doing some banners for all of our winners. I'll be reaching out to our boy Jim over at Cool Wick here soon. Also, let's talk about some other sponsors, uh, people who are helping us out. And as, as a nonprofit 501c3, we're going to be reaching out to Corporate America here shortly So, because uh, we need help. We need help growing our nonprofit uh, percentage breakdowns. Uh, shout out to, uh, I know my uh, old friend of mine, uh, Brandon Allred. He reached out to me this week, wants to be able to, from a real estate standpoint, step in and throw us some money. Um, shout out to Kathy McCloskey here at Santa Fe Lanes, Jerry Francamano over at Sunset Station Strike Zone, who've been helping us out. Uh, John Zipka, we call him Zippy, volunteering his time, throwing a bunch of money at us. Frenchy Letourneau, throwing a bunch of money at us every week. Yep. Uh, Kathy is... Kathy here at Santa Fe is just helping us out cash wise tremendously. So, so while the uh, while JT and Jason are getting loosened up, a couple balls on each lane. Let's talking about USA Bowling that we were in San Diego last week. So, it's a qualifier that we have to do that you have to win to be able to go to Junior Gold as team format uh, for 12 and under. 
So on your guys' team, we have JT Verdi, and his dad was coaching JT and Zeke, your son. Yep. And Gavin, who just who just got just got beat by Stephanie, little Gavin Fernandez, and one of the kids from San Diego, right? It was actually a pretty good little player. Yeah, he was our sole one-hander. <laughs> yeah. So uh, hopefully we can connect. So this uh, the USA Bowling. This is an event that is that happens uh, qualifying wise that'll be happening before Junior Gold starts in Grand Rapids, Michigan, one of my hometowns. Um, born and raised Saginaw, spent a lot of time there. Uh, moved to Vegas, and when I went back to Saginaw in 2012, I ended up moving to Grand Rapids in 2016. Uh, have a lot of good friends out there, so I'm looking forward to seeing them in July. So going back to the USA Bowling team, on my team, it's pretty kind of extraordinary. A couple years ago, at uh, before COVID, uh, I coached a few kids, uh, Sebastian Huffman and a few others, uh, Stephanie, and we got beat up by Chad Pohas' team from Hawaii. Two years later, now we're bowling 15 and under, we had to bowl in the finals against Chad Pohas' team out of Hawaii. Chad's doing an amazing job on the islands with his kids, but he said even in the beginning when he saw my team uh, that thanks goodness to Ben and the families put this team together, I just coach. Uh, so I had Sebastian Huffman on my team, Caitlin Abagania, uh, Elias O'Halloran, Avery Domican, Brianna Archibald, and Tyler Castanova. So I had six players and could only start four, and oh my gosh, that was brutal. But anyway, we uh, uh, Chad's team, the Hawaiian team, Beat us up uh, in one of the rounds. We had to, they had to beat us twice because we were top qualifier. We came back and the kids started striking. So shout out to them. So let's talk about the 12 and under. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> nah, 12 and under was great, man. We got down there. Uh, my son Ezekiel's on that team, and it was a strong team. We had four bowlers, like uh, Phil was saying earlier, and uh, these kids were on fire. That's all I can say. They came yeah. ready to bowl, and they and they did that. Yep. That's for sure. Uh, yep. Traveling down to San Diego. Good experience, you know. It's always fun to uh, to do well when you travel because it's always a long drive home. Something right. to keep in mind. Yep, awesome. All right, so now we're going into the finals. Thanks for speaking and helping me out while I'm doing all this stuff on social media. Stephanie, is your hair okay? Your hair? Okay, beautiful. All right. <laughs> so here we go. In the JV section, we've got JT Verdi. Okay, Ben, our leader at the board here, had me shut off for a reason. I talk too much. <laughs> In the JV section, we got Stephanie and JT. In the varsity section, we got Daniel and Jason Bartle. So we've got a couple 17-year-olds going against each other. In the JV section, we got a 11-year-old and a 15-year-old. I think Stephanie's 15 now. She does have a a, a win. In the uh, uh, LBYBT, Las Vegas Youth Bowlers Tour, and so does JT. So hopefully they're getting real close to moving up. Kind of, it's going to be kind of funny to have an 11 year old <laughs> bowling in a varsity section. <laughs> well, get ready for it because that kid is coming. Like I said, uh, that kid has a lot of confidence and uh, he age is just a number to him. Good point. Yeah, good point. So, uh, Jason, it's just so good to see this kid step up, man. He's been. He's gone through a lot of difficulties physically. The kid is a stud athlete, baseball player, golfer, uh, but then we had to be able to, we've really worked on his game the last couple years, and he sends me videos every freaking week, and uh, I've been really working hard on his game. So super proud to have him be able to bowl one of the best two-handers, in my opinion, on the West Coast, Mr. Daniel Hong. So. Okay, keeping it clean. Yep. Jason. Yeah, real cool. So again, we thanks thanks to everybody stepping up and, and helping us and guiding us. And uh, again, Brandon Allred, you're gonna be our first corporate sponsor. So we'll be reaching out to you uh, here shortly on, on all this. So, all right, so again, this is now game five, six, eight, nine, 10, 
11. This is game 12 on lanes 55 and 56. We've had four on a pair this morning for league. And then we had four on a pair for the five game qualifier. So they're starting to get a little weird. Yep, they're burning. Come on. Daniel keeping it clean. Yep. Nice shot. All right, let's see what JT's got. Working off an unusual open for him. Like I said, folks, this kid only had three opens in five games earlier in qualifying. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's definitely a good player. Uh, it, and again, he's got great support. Great support by his mom and dad. Uh, you got to you got to meet John's. <laughs> you got to meet John last week. The dad, good dude, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I've known John for a little bit actually. Oh, but you did? Get, yeah, okay. getting to getting to work with him last week. We got to conversate a lot more himself. Uh, Jay Fernandez, Gavin's dad. Uh, yeah. Just really good people to be around. I'm really lucky to have uh, those guys bowling. Yeah, bowling with Zeke. Yeah. So hey. Uh, Friends and family sitting out there, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it. Let us know. Please share this at LVYBT300. That's our YouTube channel, LVYBT300. Share this. Please subscribe. We need to grow this. We need help. We need support. Ben, Mike, and myself rolling up our sleeves to make a difference in youth bowling on the West Coast in Vegas. Um, uh, again, shout out to Dave Allen, what all he does for us uh, as a volunteer support coach. Dave Allen, doing a lot. So uh, it's, t it's taking a it's taking a, a village to taking a city to to be able to raise our kids. It's a village so. working into a city, and it's it's <laughs> growing like uh, just like Las Vegas is a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Dave Allen, he's uh, he's here every Saturday, every Sunday, whenever there's an LVYBD tournament donating his time so thank you dave we appreciate it yep. and a big thanks to mike ruiz and ben huffman i mean the time these guys put in traveling spending their hours down here it's it's, it's appreciated oh there you go you're up hey, hey folks <laughs> cool wick and what a good timing because stephanie hong is up and she's actually wearing a cool wick jersey that she actually won yeah cool wick providing those winning jerseys to our champions here at lvybt when you go on coolwick.com don't forget to enter lvybt10 promo code it'll work for you folks <laughs> storm bowling always doing well you don't go to any bowling alley without seeing somebody wearing storm clothing more more kids bowling with storm well, almost every kid has a storm ball what, can, what am i talking about <laughs> they're great yeah they are shout out to uh leanne gary blair uh for providing us these coupons that allows us to run uh, raffles and again all this money goes back to the kids but again it, it starts off at the top Bill and Barbara Chrisman who allowed this to happen but I uh, love Gary Leanne Blair they do a lot so and as we continue to grow we're gonna have some people stepping in to be able to help us out here maybe when they're in town bowling the professional bowlers will stop over and give a shout out what last month we had Darren Tang sitting in that yeah, was Dar cool. Darren was here. I think it was a month ago, and, yep. and thanks to him because he's uh, he's really good. He always takes the time to talk to the kids and yeah, and uh, you know just be there. They they love watching him. He's got a YouTube channel as well, so go check him out. Yep, yep. Storm Bowler too. Storm Team. Yep. So uh, again, I'll throw a little shout out. You can follow me on my coaching page, Phil Placco Coaching. It's a private page for all the college coaches out there. Uh, Instagram. You can follow us on. Uh, LVYBT300 on Instagram and YouTube and then on on Facebook we post a lot of stuff on there because us older people know Facebook way more than Instagram and that's Las Vegas YBT on our Facebook page so keep following us keep sharing us keep growing if you have companies out there you have businesses out there that want to donate and help we're going to be looking at certain sections to be able to help us out hey like i was talking to brandon allred and we'll be talking to mike and ben we're going to be doing some percentages let's say you want to donate five hundred thousand dollars you can donate a percentage to our kids you can donate a percentage to a stipend fund for our kids and our travel so if we're going to junior gold some kids need some help we'll have some funds there also just important if you sit around Kevin, look at this setup that Ben's created for us with cameras and, and everything like that. If you're, 
you know, you know, there's a percentage that you can throw at it for us so we can continue to have our laptops and all this stuff. So it, it'll be and real good. Yeah, and it's really needed, folks. Uh, when, when you go to these tournaments, you travel to these tournaments in different regions and stuff like that, you, you can tell how much you need your coaches' help. These kids are bowling in new houses, and uh, they've got questions. And these coaches, are we've got to remember, they're volunteering their time. They, they work five days a week. They're, they're taking their time on their weekends and going out and doing it. So uh, they definitely deserve to uh, be compensated for that. And we're doing our best to get more donations in and love to see it grow. Big, yeah. big shout out. Yeah, definitely. When uh, Ezekiel's 10 years old, you've got seven, eight years with that little dude, right? Yeah, no, no. It's, it's exciting, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. And he's getting a lot of good input. I can't tell you. Just him, him and me alone are getting a lot of good input. And when yeah. kids get into these, these sports like this, get competitive. Uh, it doesn't just end here at the bowling alley. You talk about it a lot when on your way home, your drive home, when you're sitting at the dinner table. And uh, these coaches, they really, you want to build that foundation. You know, you want to make sure your kids are learning and learning it the right way. And these coaches are doing that. So yeah. it's good. Yeah, we got some ball returns, so we got a little bit of a time, so a little bit of a break. So the house Santa Fe. <laughs> now we're bowling down here on 55, 56, but they got open play up to like lane 50. They're full. They've been full all day. So that's, again, shout out to Kathy and everything she's doing. But I also want to throw a shout out to all of our new kids today. Gosh, we had like five or six new kids. So the high school coaches here are promoting it. Our kids are pushing it to their friends on high school. They came out and started bowling on a pattern. That was like 50-foot junior goal. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> We got some highlights coming up. Kevin, you know any of these kids? I know a few of them, I can say. It's Tyler Castanova right there. Let's see what he's got going on. Oh, with his extra small shirt. Oh, look at this. Oh, here's Zeke. Come on. That's our little dude, Zeke, right there. Ten years old, little stud. Oh, Mr. Jason Bartle. This has got to be strike. I know it. Oh, there we go. Calling him. I'm two for two today, folks. And our little dude, JT Verdi. That'd be so nice to be able to. Oh, yeah. And, I, you know, I took this picture because he was bragging. This is probably like game three. He's like, Phil, I haven't missed a spare yet. So I wanted to make sure that I got him on here. I love this dude, man. Awesome. Thanks for all the highlights, Ben. That's cool. So, yeah, uh, I'm just super happy with all the new kids that uh, that showed up. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of clinics this summer. Oh, JT. Skinny jeans right there. We call that skinny jeans. Just missing. Uh, uh, we're going to be doing some a lot of clinics this summer. Um, there you go, Stephanie. Looking for some, uh, other, some more coaches stepping up to help. Kathy is doing everything she can. We'll be doing clinics here on Saturday mornings. Probably for a couple hours, some patterns, but working on a lot of physical games. Working on, and it's up for everybody, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th frame. Or, I'm sorry, 5th, 6th, 5, 6, 7, 8-year-olds. We'll have clinics for them. We'll have them ready for 7th and 8th grade, and then we'll have a high school clinic. So please follow us on my coaching page, Phil Platko Coaching, uh, Las Vegas YBT, and we'll have updates for all of that. So let's go some scoring. So in the varsity section, bowling right now, uh, Dan, Daniel Hong is, uh, is the letter D's on a spare two-bagger. Oh. <laughs> Kicked it out. Daniel's caught a couple breaks. So. Caught a break there with the 7-10, seven, yeah. seven fallen. Yep. Good job. I think uh, Jason's a little nervous. Uh, there, you know, he's, he's spared two-bagger now at a seven count. Jason's a little nervous. This is the first time on YouTube. He's missed the show a couple times, so let's see what happens here. Again, okay. it's confidence. Little Jason had a little bit of downtime. He had to sit and watch the semifinals, and uh, mm -hmm. that's where the mental game comes in. You really got to build. It's not just a physical game. I, I like to call it a mental game, an emotional uh -oh. game. Ooh, Jason unexpected. Bardol, I've been friends with his dad for 25 years, Glenn Bardol. We play golf together on Sundays uh, throughout the year, and uh, so it's, it's good. Jason's looking at going to a different college. I don't know where he's going now. So he, saw, he brought up UNR, so hoping that we can start a uh, another club team. Got one in, U, at UNLV, but he was looking back east. I don't know what decision he's made to go direction-wise, but then he said uh, UNR might be a little cheaper based on the scholarship offers that he's gotten. So, uh, But we've got uh, Derek and some kids that are going to UNR right now, and 
there's some good coaches up in Reno, so I'm hoping that we can start. Oh, Ooh. Stephanie throwing pins around. <laughs> So and you can see the confidence in Stephanie. She she's been in this position before. Yeah. You can see she's she's loose. She, yeah. She's she's playing well, and it, you know sometimes you're going to catch a little bit of break, and that's that's all right. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. She is way looser than than JT. But JT's going for his second. No. Oh. JT's going for his second title match too in the JV section. So so one of them are going to one of them are going to have their second title and and uh, be able to pick up another shirt from Kuwik. So it's been really good. Okay, we got Jason on lane 55 right now. Working off an open. Yeah. But, uh, let's, let's see two pin match. Right? Yeah, two yes. pin match. Jason's got 75 in the, in the fourth, and Daniel's got 77. There we go. Nice shot, Jason. Uh, tomorrow's pattern is going to be junior gold short. I think that's going to be the 36. Pretty flat. Not going to be easy. Scores, I don't think anybody will be able to get to a. Uh, uh, well, we'll see. We got a couple kids coming in from out of town. We'll see how they uh, do. I know Sebastian uh, suffered a little bit today, uh, but I got a feeling he'll uh, short as his short patterns are his. Sebastian Huffman, his short patterns are his uh, A game. So I'm expecting a bounce back. That kid's got game, swagger, and skill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Yeah, uh, no, the confidence in that kid. He's a. Uh, I, I talk to his dad a lot, but I don't talk to him much. But uh, I can tell you one thing. Uh, a lot of these uh, JV bowlers, they, they look up to him. They, they see him. They see the way he walks and talks, and uh, yep. they uh, enjoy it. Yep. Speaking of uh, our next tournament, it's going to be here March. Was it 25th, 26th? Yep. So we've got a lot. We've got some time off, which is beautiful. I'll be able to get out and play some golf with our Sunday golf group. Here we go, some JT. skins games. The little kid's a stud, man. Jeez. Watch out. When he finds it, this <laughs> kid can easily go on a 4-5 run. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, he can repeat some shots. Hey, do we have the foul lights on? <laughs> yeah. All right. What go. do we got going on? We've got Daniel coming up, working off of a strike. He's got an 87 as of right now. Like I said, this is still a two-pin game, folks. Go yeah. either direction. Yeah. Uh, uh, the JV section's close, especially now. Uh, Stephanie's on a spare. JT's on a strike. So here we go. Come on, kiddos. Ah, I threw it pretty good. Oh, threw it good. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm. You know, I'm just happy to see Jason be able to hit the pocket. His physical game's getting much better. College coaches back east. He's looking. Okay. Daniel's catching a couple breaks. I love it. Shot D. Good kid. Good kids from California. Come on, Jace. See, this is where nerves kick in. Daniel's made a lot of shows, won a lot of tournaments. Jason's got a little nervous. So I know tomorrow is a short pattern. Does not favor Jason's physical game. And he's like, hey, Phil, I don't think I'm going to bowl on Sunday. I'm like, dude, I get it. <laughs> oh, that's... He, hey, if you need if you need to work on it, you know you got to work on it. You got to get yeah. out there. Yeah, can't let it uh, steer you away just because you don't like the pattern. Yeah, he struggles on it, but again, he's 17 years old. Uh, last year of high school, golfing at Boulder City uh, for the Boulder City high school team. So he, he said he needs to work on his golf game. So I understand. Yeah, yeah. no, know? I can I can relate. If you're 12, 13, 14, in Zeke's case, he's 10. Uh, yeah, loves the competition. This is part of the investment for you guys. Uh, so yeah, having him struggle tomorrow, tomorrow bowling on the short is going to be way easier of what bowling balls he has to throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we'll have to take a look and get out there and practice a little bit and see what's what's going to work for him. I'm sure we'll be putting surface on all of them. I can tell you yeah, that. Yeah, you know the safest part of this. Hey, does he have two plastic balls? Nope, just one. Just one. Just one. Okay. If I could put 500 on a plastic ball, that'll force him to be in the right zone. Yeah. Sand the house ball. Might be a good point. Good call. Ben hey, Huffman. <laughs> good call. Like Might be able to put us. Yeah, well, we are sanctioned, Ben. Nice call. We'd have to have it plugged up tonight. <laughs> uh, we got a pro shop over here. I know, I know a guy or two. Yeah. I think Vince could take care of us if we needed yep. it. <laughs> Let's do a little shout out there, too. Uh, shout out to uh, Bowler Smart. Uh, owners of Coolwick again uh, we're separate in that that degree Coolwick helps us out but uh, Casey uh, Shepard 
from Saginaw, Michigan, is now out here with his beautiful wife, wife Christy Kerr Shepard. Uh, Casey runs the Sunset Station Strike Zone Bowler's Mart Pro Shop out here. And then we have Vince Ortiz, who runs the Pro Shop here at Santa Fe. They bend over backwards for our kids. Yes, they do. Uh, I've gone in there and seen a line full of people, and Vince is supposed to be getting off in five minutes, and uh, he makes it happen. Let's yeah. just say that. Yeah, he gets here early. He opens up the pro shop early on Saturday. So, uh, and, and again, an old friend of mine, Gunnar Lyle, started this, allowed me to start this with the okay of the Bowler's Mart owners. In the back, we something? have about 50, 60 used high-level bowling balls at 15 pounds, 10, 20, 14-pound balls, a few 13. So Gunner started this. Vince stayed with it, again, with the owners of Bowlers March permission because they're all about the kids. And, and all of our pro shops here in town are about the kids. But, you know, I, I, I'm a huge fan of David Haynes and everything that they do for our kids. JB Bowling Supply does a good job. But when you're in the bowling centers with the pro shops, you know, huge shout out. It, and it's to me. There you go, JT. Nice shot. To me, it's not about the competition level for pro shops and how they step up for kids. It's how they help the kids, and they all do in our town. So, um, but uh, again, I, you know, when you got 100 bowling balls in back because of Vince and Gunner and the owners of Bowler Mart to allow us to be able to help improve our kids with these used balls. So it's. I love them. And shout out to Vince's patience, folks. <laughs> I can tell you first 10, my 10-year-old son, Ezekiel, he, uh, when I'm standing in line to pay, that's right where he goes, and he loves to talk, man. He'll go in there and just start chatting away. Hey, what about this ball? What about that ball? And Vince always takes the time to talk to him and joke with him and talk bowling, and it's good. We appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, Casey, I appreciate we'll it. Casey, we go in Brooklyn, but hey, oh. it works. All right. That, get, that keeps him in it. Right, Daniel's on a three-bagger right now, fifth, sixth, seventh frame. So but Jason actually needed that. Yeah, Daniel's found something these last few frames, and let's see oh. if he can keep it going. See where that ball picked up the lane? He's been catching some nice breaks. I'm sure he's going to be watching this uh, on the way home and uh, throwing a little shout-out to you, Daniel. Nice breaks, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and shout-out to uh, Daniel's folks getting him out here, driving all the way up from California. We appreciate it. Yep. And I hope we can see more, more kids from California come out here, Arizona, yep. everywhere, Utah. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, 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 Riley Woodard from uh, Utah. His dad, Ryan, brought him out here. Ryan, uh, Riley bowled really well in a PBA event yesterday at 17 years old. Yeah. He was a squad leader for a few games and uh, finished 20th cash spot. So uh, 17 years old, just an amazing, amazing talent, amazing kid. So hopefully with uh, – our March 25th, 26th tournament it gives them enough time to come out here. Again, we have guaranteed money, so and as we continue to grow. So, so come on, Steph. On here. I'm, I'm actually surprised no one's left an 810 yet. Or 5710. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw a few earlier today. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, JT uh, does this. I know he can make this. Come on, kiddo. He's got to have it. Oh, JT. Got a little bit up. It's, that's oh. all right, JT. You. Yeah. Look at him. He's, he's, the kid has some fire in him, man. Fire. Love him. And, folks, that's what's good about this. These kids get to go back and watch themselves. Having this video equipment around, I mean, it's nothing like what's going to go on at Junior Gold. But, uh, I mean, yep. it is, though. It, I mean, maybe not the heat-wise, but the video-wise. Yep. You're going to get to see yourself and see yourself on TV. And, believe it or not, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And speaking of, like, Stephanie, she's got one strike this game. She went spare, open, open. She missed two single pin spares. Spare, strike, spare, 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 spare. And, again, this is a non-striking pattern this game. Is this getting really ugly for the for our lower level, not our lower level players, but our lower average player, or our JV section? So in the varsity section, these kids are just freaking good. Yeah, Daniel's been on a run since the, uh, the fifth frame, working off a of spare. Let's see what he's got. Nice shot, Daniel. Yeah. So three six nine three. So Jason can strike out four. What is it? Two twenty. Two twenty three, and Daniel can strike out for two thirty six. Yeah, it's getting a little ugly out there. I'm surprised JT hasn't moved in, but usually his dad asks for some little advice. One, I'm not on the live stream, so 
I'd have them bounce in a little bit with some surface, kind of open up the lane. But it's pretty spotty out there. Oh. <laughs> okay, he gets, a, gets well, a break there. So that's 141. So technically, Stephanie has won. She just needs to stay behind the foul line. She doesn't even have to say that. She's got 143. She's got 144, so she's got the win. This is her second title, $300. Look at that, JT, high five in her. Good sportsmanship, JT. Yeah, but yeah, well, you know he's going to be hard on himself. Oh. Look at him. <laughs> yes, yes, he will. <laughs> See where Steph is. Oh, Steph. Oh, going Brooklyn, but hey, we'll take it, folks. For her second championship shirt, show for her second win for Las Vegas Youth Bowlers Tour. She'll be getting her new shirt. Well, I'm going to have to put her hair up in a bun so she, we can see her name on the back of her shirt. We've got the uh, SYC coming up in a yes. couple weeks. February 18th, folks, yeah. down at the South Point. Yep. So uh, uh, starts 18th, 19th. And, uh, you might be right, Ben. I apologize. I think it is the 20th. 20th? Okay, that's a weekend of yeah. that. Yeah, so. the, the 18th is Friday. We, they're doing a little something down there on Friday. We'll be down there, folks. Ezekiel will be bowling that. And uh, I think there's a few other Las Vegas kids that will be in that. There are. Yeah, there'll be a lot. So as we finish it up here. So we've got Stephanie with the win, 171 to 141. Here comes the hard part, meaning we have to tear all this stuff down and then set it back up tomorrow morning. And Ben has to drive all the way to Pahrump. Yeah. <laughs> Another man with patience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Come on. There you go. Jason seemed to found something here at the end. You know what? His first time being on live stream on the show, that was a – he threw that ball really good. Yeah. Come on, Daniel. Let's see what – ooh, got funky right there. Here we go. We got a match. So – so 8, 9, 10, 11. So if Jason doesn't strike here, if Jason doesn't strike here, Daniel needs to spare this to give him 216. So Jason has to strike here to win. He can snap him off. Oh, he did it. He did Looking it. good. Looking good. Okay, so here's the funny thing. He's out there on the gutter, so he has to keep this on the lane. Let's see what we got here. Pressure, pressure's on, folks. Pressure's mm, on. Nope. Nope. Jason Bardo. Congratulations, buddy. I, if you look at my last text, this is exactly what it was all about right here. All about him. His physical game is, is better mentally than his mental game, and look this is part game. of it. That, yep. that game came on in the end. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, so happy for gets him. Gets it again, and he is going to enjoy golfing tomorrow, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Holding it down for Las Vegas, too. I got to appreciate it. Congratulations, Jason. It's a great job. That's, that's what you do, folks. That's how you uh, come from behind. Hey, uh, shout out to Ben and Mike. Ben setting this up, and everybody, appreciate you guys. Kevin, thanks for sitting in with me, bro. Appreciate yeah, you. You bought me all those beers last week. <laughs> yeah, Freaking no, you killed, killed me, man. <laughs> we appreciate you getting down there and everything you do, man. Uh, cool Wick, appreciate you guys. Got two more jerseys coming down for two two more champions. Coolwick.com, folks. Don't forget to enter LVYBT10. And Storm Bowling. Get all your bowling supplies. Storm Bowling Balls, Storm Bowling Shirts, jerseys, bags, whatever you need. Check them out, folks. See you guys tomorrow. Subscribe.